Hey planner friends, Ashley here. Today we're going to make some DIY backdrops for your planner photos. So I hopped on Amazon and I found a couple of different um, adhesive wallpaper rolls. This one is a like wood finish and then this one is just like a cool geometric pattern that I really liked. And we're going to use these along with these foam boards that I have. Now these foam boards, I used to use these all the time in my planner photos. And because of that, they're pretty dinged up. I've got, like you guys, I don't know if you can see them, but I got sticker backing stuck on there. I'm pretty sure that's coffee. There's like scratches in them and dings and stuff. And I don't use these anymore because even after I edit, you can still see a lot of those things on there. But I kept them. And I'm glad I kept them because we're gonna re we're gonna remake them here, make some um, fun little backdrops for our planner photos. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. I've never used adhesive wallpaper, but I have used the um, shelf liners before, which is, I'm assuming, very similar. So we're gonna give this a go and see see what happens. Um, I'm gonna start with the wood one. There is instructions on here, but it's very, very tiny. I tried to read it. We'll be all right. We're just gonna wing it. We'll just wing it. Now I tried to pull my um, ring light up so you guys could see a little bit better. I hope that this is good enough um, to where you guys can actually see what I'm doing, but I'm basically just gonna take this wallpaper adhesive and stick it on, stick it on this backdrop. Why do they have to tape stuff together? Ugh, now there's residue on there. Hmm. It'll be right, right? So this is almost, let's see, that one's almost the same width as this. And I might just leave it, maybe I'll line it up to one corner of the foam board. That way it's straight. And then the bottom of it, you, like, well, you guys can't see. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn it this way. Already having difficulties. So I think I might just line it up to one side. Like, yes, down here, there'll still be some of that white board, but that's not a big deal. I don't usually need the whole entire board whenever I'm taking planner photos anyways, and I can always cover that up with something else with different props and stuff. So um, I'm going to measure this out. I'm going to cut it, and then we're going to stick it down, and we'll see. we'll see how it goes. There's already some ripples in it, so hopefully I'm able to smooth, smooth all of that out. But let's, let's give it a go here. Hey, hey, it is voiceover Ashley. So I wanted to tell you that if you wanted to, you could cut another strip off of the wallpaper roll and fill in the bottom. Remember how I showed you earlier that the wallpaper strip didn't fully cover the whiteboard? If you wanted to, you could totally line that up. It's wallpaper, that's what it's made for. I didn't want to and I've actually already taken a couple of photos with both of the backdrops and it works out perfectly. And I actually, um, make sure you stick around to the end because I actually show you photos that I had taken with these backdrops. I think they're really, really cute. And the best part is that they're like, you have a whole roll so you could always make more. Even if you didn't have a foam board or you didn't want to stick it down, like I know that there's ripples in it, but if you could somehow fix those while it's on the roll and just lay that out and then stick your planners on it, that would work too. But for foam boards, you can pick those up at like Walmart. Um, the Dollar Tree even has them. So if you guys want to pick them up there, now here I did pull out my rolling tool. This is my Cricut tool. I don't know what the heck it's called, <laughs> but anyways, you do not need one of these. I was thinking if you had an old paint roller, that would work out great. If you had, um, I was thinking maybe a putty knife, but that might be too sharp. So maybe not a putty knife. Um, you could use a popsicle stick. If you had a, a popsicle stick, that would help you roll things out in old ID. Like there's so many different options. So don't think that you have to have a roller in order to do this.
right, the first one's done. That was easier than I expected it to be. Now I pulled out some tape because that when I had rolled it out, I didn't do it straight. So there's more like overhang on the back up here than there is this way. And some of that was sticking up and I taped it down because I might end up going back and retaping the rest of that too because I know that that's gonna get stuck on stuff and it's gonna bug me. Um, just, I mean, I guess try to make it a little bit straighter than I did. It's not that big of a deal. You can't tell from the front of it. And it's a foam board, so you can always move it however you need to in your photos. But that one's done. Let's go ahead and give the other one a try, this fun little geometric shape. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around. Drown. All right, let's talk about this one for just a minute. Now I, I share a little bit more about it here towards the end, but this one was harder to work with than the wood grain one. And I think it's because it's thicker and it was a little bit stickier. So it made it a little bit harder to work with. I mean, you can see here I was struggling. Um, well, I don't know if you can actually tell where I sped it up, but I was struggling to even get the backing off of it. I still love this pattern. I think it turned out super cute. I did end up having a few bubbles in it that I couldn't get out. So my tip is this. When you go to use this one, maybe use it, like roll it out in smaller sections. I don't mean that you need to cut it and try to line it all up and stuff, but pull the backing off in smaller sections and make sure you get it rolled out really, really good. And it may even be better to use something harder with this one, like a popsicle stick or an ID or maybe even a putty knife. Try it, just make sure you don't scratch the um, wallpaper stuff but maybe use something harder to help you get those bubbles out and to smooth it out a little bit better but definitely work in smaller sections I peeled off like a lot of the backing at one time and tried to roll it out and I think that was a big problem but I still think it turned out super cute and I really really love this pattern Alright, this one is finished and it was a little harder. So this one is a little bit of a thicker material than the wood background and it's stickier. So I do have some bubbles right up here that you can see. I couldn't roll those ones out. There's little bubbles he like right here, which I don't even know. Can you guys see that one right there? That one kind of blends in pretty well. There was a big one up here, but I did get it rolled out. So that one's good. Um, and then there's a few other little bubbles that you really just can't see, but I know that once I've set my planner on top of them to take the photos, you're not gonna be able to tell, so I'm not really worried about it. I think it's super cute and I really love the pattern, but it was a little bit harder than that other one. So I think they both turned out really, really cute. And honestly, with the uh, adhesive wallpaper, there's so many different color options, designs, backgrounds, like so many different ways that you can go with this. I'll link a few other ones that I really liked on um, Amazon down below. These are the two that I chose because I like these ones the most, but now that I've done it, 
and I realize how easy it is, I'll probably make some more. And you could also even take the foam board and put one on the other side too. I mean, you wouldn't want it to like overhang and be on this side, but you could even cut it a little bit shorter because with the foam boards, when you're taking planner photos, normally you don't need the whole entire thing to set all your stuff on. Sometimes you do, but um, if you wanted to, you could put some of that adhesive stuff on the back here. Now, if not, foam boards are pretty cheap, so um, it'd be easy just to grab a few more foam boards and then put the adhesive on there and to have them decorative. But I'm gonna go ahead and take a few planner photos with these and let's see how they turn out. All right, here is a photo, a before and after editing photo with the geometric background. Now I'm not here to talk about editing, that's not what this video is for, but I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So here's a standstill picture I think it turned out super cute and I really love this background and you can turn it around and make the shapes go different ways. Same thing here for the wood one. You could have the wood running horizontally or vertically if you wanted to. I think that these turned out super, super cute. I highly recommend them. Like I said, I will have them linked down below in the description box. You guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you think they turned out and I will see you in the next video. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.